Good morning everyone, this is Pampi Morandante and today I'll be talking about how to change fractions into ratios, into decimals, or into percentages, or the other way around. Here we go. Okay, let's start. Now I have here, given a fraction, how are we going to change this into ratio, into decimal, and, in, and into percentage? So first thing is 3 over 8. Changing this into ratio, it's very easy. Just simply write 3 over 8 into colon form. So there you go, 3 to 8, just like that. The next, how you change this into decimal? So just the uh, usual way of dividing numbers, we just write 3 inside the house and then divide it by 8. So there you go, you have 375 thousandths or 0 0.375. Then next one is how we change this decimal into percentage. Remember that percentage means per hundred. So just simply multiply it to 100 and then put the percent sign, the percent sign or the percent symbol, or just simply move to the right two times because two times meaning you multiply the number into 100. So that's why you have here 37.5%. Okay? Okay, next one. next up guys is how are we going to change this ratio 3 to 25 into fraction into decimal and into percentage okay now first thing is very simple just change this first into fraction because this is already in ratio so just simply write it into 3 over 25 that's it the next into decimals just simply divide it so just observe how we do this just only in the, the usual way of dividing numbers or we can also do the calculator okay so here we go 3 divided by 25 so just simply do that and then there you go that is the value of the decimal which is 12 hundredths or 0 0.12 and then next into percentage okay so we already have the decimal of 3 of 3 to 25 so just simply times 100 or move it to the right two times and then put, put the percent symbol okay that's it next one in the next example here is given the decimal the first thing to do to change this into percentage just very simple multiply it by 100 or just simply move the decimal point to the right two times and then don't forget to put the percent sign or the percent symbol okay and that's it that's how you do it and then next one is how to change this into ratio or into fraction. Um, just go back to the decimal, which is we read this one as 15 thousandths. In other words, you, when you write it in a fraction, it will just be 15 over 1000. So that's how you do that 15 over 1000. And then um, of course, since we are dealing here with fractions, do not forget to simplify your answer into lowest term, okay? So you have to reduce the fraction into lowest term. So there you go. By just simply finding out the greatest common factor, so 5, so that's 3 over 200. And then, that's how you write. That's how you write then this number, decimal number, 15 thousands in ratio and in fraction okay so that's 3 to 200 and then in fraction is 3 over 200 okay okay and the last example here is given the percentage i have here 35 percent so the first thing to do is since we are changing this percentage into decimal so we are doing it the other way around this time we have to cancel the percent into we are going to cancel the percent symbol and then we move the decimal point to the left two times okay because we're canceling it then we move it to the left two times so it will become 35 hundredths okay now since we now have the decimal which is 35 hundredths to change this into ratio or into fraction just simply divide 35 into 100 because we read this one as 3500 so that's 35 over, over 100 and then simplify 35 over 100 
by finding out the GCF, which is 5. So there you go, you have 7 over 20. And so, 35 hundredths in fraction is 7 over 20 and in ratio is 7 to 20. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for your attention and see you again for my next lesson. Thank you.